So the Euclid Aquarium was the very first catch and release aquarium in the world, that is completely catch and release. We collect aquarium species from quite a few different locations. It depends on what exhibits we're trying to set up that year, and it also depends on the environmental conditions. If there's an El Nino going on, or if there's a colder year, it'll affect what species are around. Collecting for the aquarium is a mixture of different styles. We do beach scenes, beach walks, uh, we do a lot of diving. Got these cool little shrimp, little sand shrimp. These guys are pretty cool. We also can't bring in anything deep. We're a flow-through aquarium, so our waters change depending on what the season is doing. And if we happen to have a warm year, the warm water of the harbour will also be in our aquarium. So we can't bring in anything that needs a specific environmental condition. We try to collect as much as possible from within five kilometres. And that's really important because we're returning things. And the other cool thing to notice is that he's got both of his eyes on the same side of his head. Species have to be able to deal with that kind of interaction because we really like to have hands-on exhibits. There's some species that we just can't bring in, but then there's a lot of species that we can bring in and provide people with an, an ability to interact with. We know that we recaught the same species because of markings that it had. In some cases, we've had sea stars that were regrowing arms, and so they had a pretty distinctive shape to their body. And so we were able to tell that it was the same one. Today we're having our big release day. So this is the day that we release all of our harbour species back to the Euclid Harbour. We invite the public to come down. We've had as many as 500 people show up and we release things as a community. We have to have everything that's going back to the wild inspected by a veterinarian. We also have to have the whole system of the aquarium inspected by a veterinarian. We apply for release permits and then we begin to plan our release schedules. So where things are gonna go, the tides, all of the environmental factors, making sure that not only the species are safe, but our staff as well. We try to return our specimens back to where they were collected from whenever possible. In some cases, species are migratory, and so they change sites, and then we return them back to the area that they should be in at, for the time of the year that they're going back in. What you got in the bucket? The event's grown from being what used to be just locals, really excited families coming down to help us release species to a draw for members outside of the community as well. It's also gone from being just a public release in the harbour to a, a big fundraiser for the aquarium. There's tons of people that come through the aquarium and they know someone that has helped build it or they did help build it and they can identify the walls that they painted or the pillars that they sanded. It's been a huge community project.